After studying this module, we shall be able to learn about the concept of career planning and human resource planning, identify the objectives and process of career planning, understand the advantages and limitations of career planning, appreciate the way to make career planning effective, learn about career planning and succession planning. Now we are going to learn about the concept of career planning. Career planning is a systematic process by which one selects career goals and the path to these goals. From organization point of view, it is helping the employees in their career within the context of organizational needs. Career planning aims at designing a system where an employee can move forward in his career and grow as an individual. Such a planning can guide employees in shaping their careers and can help them after a particular span of time, say 5 or 10 years. The basic features of career planning one can say is that it is a process of developing human resources. It opens various opportunities for employees. It is a continuous process because new employees enter an organization. Also due to ever-changing environment, the employees need to be developed from time to time. It is not an end in itself, but a means to manage people to obtain optimum results. It aims at integrating individual as well as organizational needs. It leads to career counseling and guiding employees for future prospects. Although it is an individual responsibility to decide for his career, but at the same time, organization is equally responsible for employees growth and success. Now we will learn about the various objectives of career planning. Career planning objectives includes retaining the right type of employees at a workplace. Why we need career planning in our organization? Because we need to have a right candidate at a right place. It map out the careers of employees suitable to their ability and their willingness to be trained and developed for higher positions. It increases employees morale and job satisfaction and attain productive results for the organization. It also helps in growth and success of the employees individually as well as organizationally. There is an optimum use of resources through proper guidance and training through career planning. Availability of workforce and thus reducing labor turnover and absenteeism. We also helps in matching the right skills of the employees with the right job and providing opportunities for job promotion. It leads to organizational development and increased productivity. Now we need to know that what is the difference between career planning and human resource planning. Career planning is deciding and opening career opportunities for employees in the organization. It is a process of developing human resources in the organization so that a right job can be matched with the right skills. Human resource planning aims at ascertaining the workforce needs of the organization both in the right number and the right kind. It aims at bridging the gap between the present as well as future manpower requirements by supplying a right kind of personnel to fill various positions in the organizations. Career planning is an integral part of manpower which in turn is an important part of corporate planning. Manpower cannot be effective without proper career planning. Similarly, manpower planning provides valuable information to facilitate career planning. Manpower planning gives information related to human resource for expansion, growth and technological innovations and career planning gives information as to who could succeed in case of retirement, death, resignation of an existing personnel. Now the process if we have to start with the career planning in organization then what we need to start with? What are the various steps? First of all, we need to identify individual needs and aspirations. The first step in career planning is to find out the expectations of different categories of employees and their aspirations regarding career goals. 
a database related to organizational personnel can be created for this purpose which will give information as to age, qualification, experience and their ambitions related to their career. Now after this we need to identify suitable career opportunities. The career plans for each individual employee is analyzed and a career path may be set up for an employee at each position. The various goals such as long term and short term career goals can be defined after relating specific jobs to different career opportunities. The human resource manager may assist an employee's decision making process by providing as much information as possible to the employee showing that what type of work would suit him the most considering his interests, skill, aptitude and performance in the work that he is already doing. Then matching of employees aspirations with the career opportunities is the next step. Organization can open various career opportunities for meeting employees aspirations. According to the capacity and skills of the individual employees, there has to be a matching of skills with the career path an organization is planning to develop for its employees. Such matching helps to develop realistic career goals for both long term and short term. Then developing and implementing strategies. The organization develops and formulates strategies on the basis of requirements and dealing with mismatch. The strategies may be change in a career system by creating new career paths, changing employee needs and aspirations by helping them to scale down unrealistic goals and aspirations and to train and develop people to meet both individual and organizational needs. Then there is a need to review a career plan. It is important to periodically review the career plan and strategies so developed to check whether or not these plans are actually helping employees to achieve their career goals, whether the changes expected are really being observed, targets are achieved or not, the basis adopted such as description, job description, job specification were worth considering and also to see whether training and development adequately designed to enable employees to reach to their expected career goals at a higher or next level. So we can now really understand that these are the processes, the steps and now benefits we are going to get from the career planning. The employees become aware of their potential skills and aptitude. It helps them to know the career opportunities available to them through organization. Employees can select their career through proper career path which is most suitable to them. It gives them the adequate knowledge which they might be lacking had there been no such career planning system in the organization. Individual needs get satisfied and job interest of employees also develops strongly towards the attainment of their self and organizational goals. Only a satisfied employee can be a productive worker and can contribute to the organization in a good way. Career planning helps the organization also to properly analyze each and every job in terms of job description and job specification and on this basis to identify suitable career opportunities. The employees are prepared for the next high level positions and promotions with this well designed career planning system rather than shifting from one organization to another. Future vacancies in the organization can easily be anticipated that may arise due to retirement, resignation, death etc. and career planning is a guide for manpower planning. Thus we can say that career planning is beneficial both to the individual as well as organization in contributing towards development and utilization of individuals by optimally utilizing the human and non-human resources in the organization. But we can also make our career planning in the organizations the most effective ones by various ways. One such is that higher authority support without which it is not possible to take up such career plan for its employees is most important. Only if employees are interested such career planning system can be taken up. Then growing organizations with suitable manpower projections can think of starting effective career plan. The potential of the employees must be checked before taking him in a career planning system because an urge for personal growth and promotion is must. 
there should be an equitable policy for promoting employees. The participation of employees in career counseling programs and career planning plays a very important role and help them to overcome the stress arising due to the lack of control over their careers. The career planning system should be carried out on a regular and continuous basis so as to take care of the changing needs of both the individual as well as the organization. After learning the concept of career planning and its process and advantages, we need to know that the difference there is arises between the career planning and succession planning. Succession planning means that an individual employee fills the key positions in the organization over a period of time for the survival and success of the organization. The basic purpose of succession planning is to fill the positions by identification of a personnel who can be replaced in case of resignations, retirement, promotion, expansion and it is to prepare an employee for accepting higher positions. Succession planning depends upon the career planning system of the organization. A succession career planning will automatically serve the purpose of succession planning. If right candidate is at the right job, he attains the help also from the organization in terms of his career, then there wouldn't be any difficulty in succession planning. Career planning covers employees from all the levels in the organization, whereas succession planning is required generally for higher level executives only. Career planning involves deciding career paths for employees so that they can grow in their careers and succession planning is to identify the vacancies that are likely to occur at workplace at various levels. Career planning is based on succession planning. The main features of career planning are it is a process of developing human resources. It opens various opportunities for employees. It is a continuous process because new employees enters an organization. Also, due to ever-changing environment, the employees need to be developed from time to time. It aims at integrating individual as well as organizational needs. It leads to career counseling and guiding employees for future prospects. Although it is an individual responsibility to decide for his career, but at the same time, organization is equally responsible for its employees growth and success. Let us now go through some of the objectives of career planning. These are retaining the right type of employees at workplace, map out careers of employees suitable to their ability and their willingness to be trained and developed for higher positions, increasing employees morale and job satisfaction and attain productive results for the organization, growth and success of the employees individually and for the organization also. Availability of workforce and thus reducing labor turnover and absenteeism, organizational development and increased productivity. Human resource planning aims at ascertaining the workforce needs of the organization both in the right number and the right kind and bridging the gap between the present and the future manpower requirements by supplying a right kind of personnel to fill various positions in the organizations.
Let us now go through the steps involved in career planning process. Identifying individual needs and aspirations. The first step in career planning is to find out the expectations of different categories of employees and their aspirations regarding career goals for which a database related to the organizational personnel can be created having information as to age, qualification, experience, and their ambitions related to their career. Second, identifying suitable career opportunities. In this step, the career plans for each individual employee is analyzed and a career path may be set up for an employee at each position. The human resource manager may assist an employee's decision-making process by providing as much information as possible to the employees showing what type of work should suit him the most, considering his interest, skill, aptitude, and performance in the work that he is already doing. Next step is matching of employees' aspirations with career opportunities. According to the capacity and skills of the individual employees, there has to be matching of skills with a career path that an organization is planning to develop for its employees. Such matching helps to develop realistic career goals for both long-term and short-term. Next is developing and implementing strategies. The organization develops and formulates strategies on the basis of requirements and dealing with mismatch. The strategies may change a career system by creating new career paths, changing employee needs and aspirations by helping them to scale down unrealistic goals and aspirations and to train and develop people to meet both individual and the organizational needs. And the final step is the review of career plans. It is important to periodically review the career plans and strategies so developed to check whether or not these plans are actually helping employees to achieve their career goals, whether the changes expected are really being observed, targets are achieved or not, and also to see whether training and development is adequately designed to enable employees to reach to their expected career goals at a higher or next level. Let us now discuss the advantages of career planning for the employees. These are, the employees become aware of their potential skills and aptitude. It helps them to know the career opportunities available to them through organization. Employees can select their career through proper career path, which is most suitable to them. It gives them the adequate knowledge which they might be lacking without such career planning system in the organization. Individual needs get satisfied and job interest of the employees also develops strongly towards the attainment of their self and organizational goals. The employees are prepared for next high level positions and promotions with this well-designed career planning system rather than shifting from one organization to another. Job satisfaction, job performance and personal growth of employees also increase. The advantages of career planning for the organization are increases the productivity of the workers. It helps the organization to properly analyze each and every job in terms of job description and job specification and on this basis to identify suitable career opportunities which helps in long run. The organization reputation also increases in the competitive job market. Recruitment becomes more systematic. Future vacancies in the organization can easily be anticipated, fulfilling the job enlargement needs of the enterprise.
the limitations of career planning are the career planning system may not be suitable for small organizations it includes huge cost and an effort to analyze every individual employee career aspirations and matching it with the appropriate career opportunities the external environmental factors such as government policy socio economic factors etc may cause issues for business and industry employees who are illiterate and unskilled and related to reception and shop floor work would not be interested in this system and also it may not be feasible for the organization to think of their career plans the policy matters such as wage and salary administration structure etc may also hamper the career planning decisions in the organization however there are ways to make the process of career planning effective these measures are support of top management building up employees interests there should be an equitable policy for promoting employees ensuring participation of employees in career counseling programs and career planning the career planning system should be carried out on a regular and continuous basis so as to take care of the changing needs of both the individual and the organization Finally we shall now discuss the concept of succession planning it is a process of identifying and developing internal people with the potential to fill key managerial positions in the company the basic purpose of succession planning is to fill the positions by identification of personnel who can come to the aid in case of resignation retirement promotion expansion etc and this also helps to prepare an employee for accepting higher positions however succession planning depends upon the career planning system of the organization and is fulfilled by proper career planning only now to summarize what we have learnt in the career planning module is career planning is a systematic process by which one selects career goals and the path to these goals career planning aims at designing a system where an employee can move forward in his career and grow as an individual 
It leads to a career counseling and guiding employees for future prospects. It map out career of employees suitable to their ability and their willingness to be trained and developed for higher positions. Career planning is deciding and opening career opportunities for employees in the organization. It is a process of developing human resources in the organization so that a right job can be matched with the right skills. The process of career planning includes identifying individual needs and aspirations, identifying suitable career opportunities, matching of employees aspirations with career opportunities, developing and implementing strategies and a review of a career plan. Succession planning means an individual employee fills the key position in the organization over a period of time for the survival and the success of the organization. And the basic purpose of succession planning is to fill the positions by identification of personnel who can be replaced in case of resignation, retirement, promotion and expansion. It is actually to prepare an employee for accepting higher positions. Career planning covers employees from all the levels in the organization, whereas a succession planning is required generally for higher level executives. Career planning involves deciding career paths for employees so that they can grow in their careers. Succession planning is to identify the vacancies that are likely to occur at a workplace at higher levels. Career plan is based on a succession plan.